Okay, so this here is my boy Robert. Okay, and he's got a lot of things to say. And um, I'm just, Robert, what are you going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about 3D pigs and their materialistic bullshit. Okay, Robert, well, I'm going to let you go on and talk about that. And I'm going to mute my microphone. And this will be like oh. this will be like five minutes with Robert or whatever I'm going to call it. Uh, okay, so females, at least in American society, have been culturally indoctrinated to be socialist pigs that materialize and take everything away from the male. That's their whole purpose: is to be a monetary leech on society. They have been bred to do this. And, and I really hate that, and that's why I'm not going to have a 3D pig disgusting girlfriend ever, because I don't want to have fucking credit card insurance just to pay my ass off. A better way is to get a waifu, you know, just watch anime, you'll find one that you love a lot, and, and you'll cherish her, and she'll be more happy than anything else in the world, because you because she's she's not a materialistic pig, 3D pig, disgusting. And 2D is best because they have flawless skin and they're perfect. They're visually perfect in every way, and they always love you. And and they're I, I, you just want to hug them and squeeze them all day long. Good. And and like and they don't and they don't cry false rape either, like three D pigs do. Like you can't fuck a three D pig because that will just give complete birthing rights, complete you're giving up complete rights to her as soon as you stick your peener in her vagina. This has been proven. It has happened to many people that I know. Do not do it. If you're a male and you live in America, do not fuck a 3D pig ever. Do not give them your money. But, but Robert, I'm, I'm going to interject here. I have unmuted my microphone. Um, what... What... what uh... Um, okay, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to give them your money, like, you're not, like, you just, you don't have to get married to sexual a 3D girl. Well, that's the thing, that's the thing, is that you don't, but as soon as you even fuck her, you have, she has complete liability, or, not liability, but... As soon as you fuck her, you've formed a contract with her that is basically equal to marriage. You are eternally, monetarily submissive to that female, both legally and fiscally and stuff. But that's, that's just not how it works, Robert. People, yes, it is. People bone chicks daily and then never, you know, talk to them in any other way besides that. I, I know a person who sleeps with another person all the time, but they have absolutely no relationship outside of that. Oh, you just wait just a couple years, he'll be fucked up the ass because that girl will just start demanding all the cash he owns. But he just wouldn't give it to her. Well, he's legally obligated to. No. If he does, then he'll go to prison for tax fraud. Or... For what? That doesn't make sense, Robert. Explain. That's... Explain why you're obligated. Like, I, I don't want to turn this into my own YouTube show, but because this is your show for you to ramble, and I wasn't, I wasn't, why? Playing, I was planning on not even coming in. I was just gonna let you go. Hey, but... Why is the male obligated? Is what you're asking. Yeah. It's because the female can at any moment claim that the male raped her. And at that point, there is no legal retribution at all for the male. As soon as she says that, he is going to prison for 35 years and everything he owns belongs to that female that he had recreational sex with. 
but that's that's not how it works, Robert. That is how it works. Okay, well that's that's been five minutes. This is this is a minute with Robert. We'll be back next whenever with another exciting topic with with our boy Robert here. Say goodbye, Robert. Goodbye. Any closing statement you want to make? No. Okay.